So here are typical DC motors. I have pulled one apart so I can show you what's inside. Essentially, there are three major parts. You've got what's called the stator, which contains permanent magnets. Then the rotor, which contains the axles, iron core, coils, and a split ring commutator. And lastly, the brushes, which connects to the external circuit. So here are the three parts again, and essentially, here is how it works. A current from the external circuit flows to the brushes. It is that touching connection between the brushes and the commutator that allows the current to flow to the coils. Now that's the iron core, and I'll explain its purpose very soon. But most importantly, it is the interaction between the current flowing to the coils and the external magnetic field that causes the rotor to rotate. Now as I promised, the iron core's purpose is to concentrate that external magnetic field, which increases the torque on the armature. Now what that basically means is that it increases the force used to rotate the coils. Now I am putting those three main parts of a DC motor back together to something of a more recognizable form. You've probably seen these in your toy cars if you ever opened it up. That's where I got mine from. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something. And make sure you have some fun. Bye.